Columbia Marion County Airport. Automated weather observation 2 0 1 3 Zulu. Wind variable at 5 knots. Visibility missing. Present weather missing. Sky condition missing. Temperature missing. Dew point missing. Generally, everything's missing. All right, we're going up to Colonel Jabbar, which is up by Wichita. That's par for the course, home territory. Hopefully, we'll get to meet up with them. We're supposed to this evening and uh, chit chat a little while. And certainly, go eat. They like to eat as much as I do. Marion County Traffic Citation 26 Delta Tango. We're departing runway 5, departure northwest Columbia. Shoulder straps on. We don't take off on 5 too many times. No messages. Flight controls are good. Flaps, trims. Bank looks good. Be ready for one to go out. Engine that is. Do and take off. Do the power. Feed the live on both. Go to 80 cross. Hell, when it gets hot at V1, there's rotate. Positive rate. Gears coming up. Waiting for 400 AGL, which is about 700 here. There it is. Power's coming back. Flaps is up. Y'all down zone. Columbia Marion County Traffic, Citation 26 Delta Tango. We're turning on course northwest. 26 Delta Tango. Our Columbia traffic. All right, let's go to Houston. Three nine fifty five one one four climbing one five thousand heading two four zero. Three nine fifty five Houston Center. Let me say a follow two three zero. Nine fifty five two three zero three nine fifty five. Houston zero kilo five. We're below the layers here. We'll go ahead and terminate the IFR. Zero kilo five. Put a cancellation of IFR as receiving instruction of our frequency change approved. Coming in from the west. Divide to talk to him on CPAF RJ at 8,000. He's about 25 with. So we'll see you later. All right, thanks. See you on the way out. Houston Center, Citation 26, Delta Tango. We're off Columbia Marion looking for IFR to Alpha Alpha Oscar. Center, Delta Tango, Houston Center, Squawk 7470. 7470, 26 Delta Tango. Yeah, will be there about 5 o'clock, a little before. Should be. Cat 24, climbing same front of 210. Put flight level change in. About 225. Number 6 Delta Tango, your radar contact. Northwest Columbia, Marion County, about 8 miles. 6,000 miles. Similar street going forth. Turn to the Alpha Alpha Oscar Airport via direct. Climb and maintain flight level 230. And you can expect 34 in 10 minutes. Okay, we're up to 230. Clear direct. 26 Delta Tango. Thanks, sir. That was 5049, still 11 o'clock, about 60 miles. Oxy 411, contact Houston Center 125.77. 127, Delta Tango, contact Memphis Center 132.5, 132.5, 26 Delta Tango, Memphis Center, Citation 26 Delta Tango, 11, 5 for 230. Hello. Christmas 2 Another frequency, probably. Okay, 30 to side at 13. 6 Take Take second. Memphis Center, Citation 26 Delta Tango. We're 12 9 for 230.
At the center, South Asian 26 Delta Tango, we are 15 for 230. Alright, November 26 Delta Tango, my center, got you. How do you hear me on this transmitter? 5 by 5. Right. Oh, it's hot. Make sure you look over there, make sure you got your gear and your flaps in. Going through standard. 18. Back on 6355, Mount Center, good afternoon. And the uh, uh, Meridian Altimer 3013. Thirty-three, thirty-eight. Contact Jackson. Approach one, two, three, right. four, nine. Oh, pilot. Jackson, approach twenty-three, nine. Approach thirty-three, thirty-eight. Good day. And November six, six, eight. Zulu, do you send a maintain fault two, two, zero. Send a maintain two, two, zero, six, zero. November two, six, Delta Tango. Contact Mount Center one, three, three, point zero, seven. Good day. Three, three, zero, seven. Good day. Six Delta Tango. Memphis Center, Citation 26 Delta Tango, 18-8 for 230. November 26 Delta Tango, Memphis Center, right here. All right, we'll get it a little later. There it goes. All right, we're up at 340, going back to 1826 is checking on 280. Pretty good ride so far. Good evening. 300. 1826, uh, good evening, Memphis Center, Roger, and uh, expect that to continue for the next 100 miles. Okay, thanks. And the reason is the ride's above... 300, he said, or light to continuous chop. This is probably moderate chop, light turbulence up here now. So going back to 300, we'll have about 1,000 pounds of fuel left, which is fine. Up to center, shuttle so 6121, level 310, occasional light chop. Shuttle 6121, that's the roger, occasional light chop, all 300 today. That's 10. 400 knots. 413, 399 on the ground. 329. Still jet 328, that's the Roger. Climb maintain fall with 280, that'll be a final for the ride. 380, still jet 328. 400 knots today with a 28 knot crosswind. Alright, so we made it across the Oklahoma line. We are just east of Tulsa, and it's finally smoothed out. Been rough all the way. We're still at 30,000, and uh, yeah, it's been light to moderate chop all the way up through here. We should start down in about three minutes. We still, let's see, we've got a 53 knot quarter and headwind, it's putting us 353 across the ground. We'll land a little over a thousand pounds, and weather's good. Wind up there is 12 knots gusting 21. Out that way is Tulsa. We should be starting down here shortly. Afternoon, center break here at 4520. All right, now we're out of 240. I'm sorry, out of 300 for 240. He's right on time. Called it 50 seconds before the computer had it to descend. We were 300, 90 miles out. We were right on it. We was, eight, we was right at 90. About 1,500 feet a minute to give us our descent. So we're just fixing to cross over Bartlesville. Kansas City, East Coast, 8230. Delta Tango, contact Kansas City, 128.6. Delta Tango. 26.4 now. Kansas City Center, Citation 26 Delta Tango, 26.2 for 240. There, 26 Delta Tango, Kansas City Center, descent of 18, 6,000, Wichita, Tumidor, 2998. Okay, we're down to 6,000, 2998, 6 Delta Tango. I got vertical speed on, and I'm just right above the uh, 2,000 foot feet per minute mark in the 
path is coming down, so when it gets down the horizon there, it'll capture it. We're at 25-2 now. There it goes. All right, I'll catch us when we get close to Colonel Jabbar. Wichita approach, station 26 Delta Tango, 12-7 for 6,000. Over 26 Delta Tango, Wichita approach, we're shot 7 or 2 9 or 8. Verify you have the weather at Jabbar, expect a visual approach. Do you have the weather at Jabbar? Expect a visual, 26 Delta Tango. 26 Delta Tango, just going to maintain 5,000. Okay, we're down to 5,000, 26 Delta Tango. Visual 1 8. Got the approach for 1 8 plugged in. And I've never been here before, so it's a good time to do that. We got right. Kilo Charlie, we got Jabbar inside. We'll go ahead and cancel. 440 Kilo Charlie, IFO cancellations received. And Squawk VFR, change to advisory frequencies approved. Have a great day. Squawk VFR, have a great day. 440 Kilo Charlie. All right, we're down to 4,000. We're direct to DEC. D E Y E K. ILS 1-8 for the visual. Kinda hazy up here. It's pretty though. All kind of things flashing up here. To my traffic, BTF 440, Kilo Charlie is down to clear 1-8. So 26 Delta Tango, to set maintain 3,000. Beach Airport is at your 10 o'clock and 6 miles. Jabbar Airport, 11 o'clock and 5 miles. Port Jabbar Airport in sight. Okay, report Jabbar in sight. 26 Delta Tango, we're down to 3,000. Five approach, good evening. Beach at 400 Juliet Delta, uh, 14 6. I'm a descent for 6,000 weather note of Jabbar. Beach Air 400 Delta, Julia Delta, Wichita Approach, Shot 200 is 299 or 8. Thanks for the weather. Put direct day, vectors, visual approach, Jamar Airport. Direct day, vectors for the visual, Julia Delta. Uh, 26 uh, Delta Tango, uh, Jabbar Airport's now 10 o'clock and 4 and a half miles. Okay, I have Jabbar. 6 Delta Tango. Delta Tango, report, I'm sorry, you're cleared visual approach, Jabbar Airport. Report cancellation of IFR, this frequency in the air on the ground, 134.8. Change to advisory, frequencies approved. Okay, we'll go ahead and cancel you, 6 Delta Tango. Uh, 6 Delta Tango, I for cancellation is received. Squawk VFR, change of advisory frequency approved. You have a great night. Okay, go VFR. Thank you, sir. 6 Delta Tango. Bar traffic, citation 26 Delta Tango. Turn to 5 mile final runway 18 to bar. Welcome to Wichita there, Mr. Price. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Mighty pretty up here. It's a little windy. Uh, Dennis is going to film your landing, so you better be on your best behavior. Oh, well, that just ruined it. Alright, we got speed for flaps 35. Over traffic, KC 49, two miles uh, west of the field, cross midfield, left downwind for 17, Ellsworth. Dennis is filming my landing. I hope she does not have a zoom lens. All right, we are cleared to land. We are right on the glide slope. Five hundred. It's a little windy. Four hundred. Three hundred.
Y'all down is away, we're at approach speed, we're a little bit below. 200. We got that. Hey, we got three green, panels clean. One hundred. Speed always wants to pick up right in there. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Traffic Citation 26 Delta Tango, we are clear the active taxi to the ramp, Jabbar. Limits. Jabbar traffic, beach jet 400 Juliet Delta, 10 miles to the east, will be uh, straight, uh, northeast, will be straight in runway 18 Jabbar. I lost them, where did they go? Lemons Aviation, they got CAA here. Big outfit, I think they got one, two, three, four, five, I guess that's six hangers. Wow. Yeah, I told him to get this XLS out of your way so you can be on the front row. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Traffic, beach jet 400 Juliet Delta, three miles, four miles to the northeast, the uh, straight in runway 180 bar. I got my mic muff on here, we can talk. So I finally get to meet Ron and Janice. <laughs> they were sitting here critiquing my landing. So uh, everybody say hi to par for the course. So hey y'all not, not watching them, go check them out. Yeah. And they've, they've just got their, uh, what do you, you call it, your sailor? Uh, our, our captain's, captain's license, captain's the license. charter a sailboat up to 50 feet now. So. so they can fly around the country and go to a, uh, a marina somewhere, charter a boat and sail, come back and get an airplane fly home. There right? Is. That's the plan. That's, All right. That is the plan. This is very nice. I didn't realize this was this big. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see it on the videos, but I don't realize it was. Yeah, it's, it's a nice airport. People don't realize that it's, you know, they always want to go to downtown. Yeah. And I go, unless you're doing business on that side of town, come here. So, so all of there, so there's six, one, two, three, four, six hangers. It's Clemens. Yeah, he just bought the place. Uh, just recently, he, oh, wow. he owns the little airport over at Stearman, and he just recently bought this one out. And then all of that is the, the these are some hangers, but then he's got buildings behind, and that's like the maintenance and things like that. Wow, well, this is mighty nice. And there's CAA, I believe they have on there. Oh, are they? Yeah, for fuel. Yeah. And that's a big, big deal. Yeah. Uh, but no, they, they called about the car, and lady called back, and I said, oh, no, they're going to have trouble. She said, hey, would a Camaro be okay? I'm thinking, well, let me think about that just a minute. How funny. How funny. So if there's any kind of... Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I've picked on about cookies. 
Because that's all I hear is how good the cookies are. So. I've never been in the same place with him to get him some cookies. I must, I must weigh 10 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> it only adds 20 pounds whenever you eat it. <laughs> Thank y'all. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. welcome. You're welcome. And that, that are, they are thick and big. That's the reason why you can say you only ate one cookie. Golly. It's a pretty bird. I love blue. You're a Papa Echo. Well, if you wonder where par for the course stays at night, and there it is. And they've got an end hanger out here. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice breeze out here now. That's what's nice about being on the end. Plus, See, we thought about driving down here to film you landing, but then we wouldn't catch up to you. <laughs> yeah, this is beautiful. Huh. Yeah, that is completely different than the one I had. <laughs> I always wanted that in, in there, but that wasn't going to happen. We're sort of spoiled. Yeah, yeah that, that, well, as you well know, that G3000, that glass, it was This spoiled. is very nice. Yeah, that, um, I don't know, I, I just like it because of the situation on awareness, but that is a very nice panel. Yeah, I, um... Uh, I flew a Mooney not too long ago to get my retract endorsement or, you know, complex and all that. And it had gauges on it. And I couldn't fly that thing for diddly squat. It was just like, <laughs> <laughs> when, when he put me under foggles, you yeah. know, just, you know, visually I could fly it just fine because I wasn't really looking at the gauges. But it's like you said, for situational awareness, that big MFD, just, I mean, you can, at a glance, and it's the same thing for instrument. You know, you're not trying to do a scan on six instruments. At a glance, you see everything you need to see just, I mean, in an instant. And that's what I like about it. I don't know. It's, uh, it's good to learn, I guess, on the older stuff. But it makes this, makes you appreciate stuff, yeah. you know, so much more to me. It took about three hours on, on a G1000 before I felt kind of comfortable with it. And then I did my instrument training with a G1000, and that's where, yeah. and, and as you know on a lot of our videos, I mean, we fly IFR quite a bit, and uh, I just feel like it, it just makes things safer. Ron painted the, yep, they look good. This is the piece that broke on the other side that I had to redo. It's just a little fairing cover. That, uh, yeah, you did a good job on those. You know, most planes there's a there's a boss's seat in the back, but the boss's seat is on the right side over there. Yeah, yeah, yep, that's that's Janice. She uh... <laughs> yeah, that's the boss's seat on that side. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll just go with that. That is uh, that's good though. You did a fine job on those. Yeah, I had to kind of take some artistic liberty on the nose. I didn't have anything to go huh? by on it. The hangers ain't very. I mean, how old are these? These. This looks like it's new. They're, they're the newer ones, because the older ones are up yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know how long these have been here. Oh. Oh, 10 years or so, I guess, maybe, give or take. Yes, I don't know. There was a tornado that came through here at one point and took out, like, the ones that are closest to the FBO and took out several planes. Well, it took out yeah. uh, Beach, didn't have any hangar space, and they had five or six brand new King Airs in the hangars. And the tornado come through and just destroyed them all. This is peaceful, though. Yeah. It's nice. This time of day, look at the lights. Just... Hey, folks, I appreciate y'all watching the video. Uh, we just come in from flying, been out to uh, Huntington, Texas. Very busy airport. And they were doing some construction work out there. So uh, I was going to film them going in out there, but uh, uh, that just didn't all work out. But... 
Like I want to tell y'all, thank y'all for watching. Um, Ron and Jan, they're good folks. I enjoyed the visit. They're very hospitable. It's a big word. Uh, but like you, if you watch them on uh, on YouTube, if you watch their videos, they do like to eat. And uh, that is not a front. That is the truth. They love to eat. And I don't see how Janice stays slim as she does as much as she eats. She eats as much as I do. And uh, But she made those cookies, and I tell you, they were like small pancakes. And they were fine, those chocolate chip cookies. But uh, I just want to say a thanks again to, to Par for the Course, Ron and Janice. I appreciate the, the visit, the food, and uh, look forward to getting to sit down and share a meal together again sometime before too long.